I've been on this whole food plant-based journey for about 20 years now, believe it or not. My husband was playing professional basketball and seeking out the best fuel for an athlete. He wanted to recover better, have more energy, and just be a total overall better athlete. Uh, a friend of ours put us in contact with Dr. Doug Graham, who teaches a raw vegan diet, which is just fresh fruits and vegetables and some nuts and seeds. My husband's not an easy changer. He had to be convinced to um, give up his meat, uh, so he began to study. The really cool thing uh, as he began to study is he saw that uh, plants are not just good for an athlete, but they're actually good for every human body. So he decided to put this into practice. Uh, he asked me to join in with him, and I um, am a personal trainer and a fitness instructor, and uh, at the time was a big uh, fast food lover. So I actually got mad about it, and I said, I'm not doing this. I don't think it's right, and the food is not that big of a deal. Um, he said, you know, I can't make you. You're a grown person. But we had two children at the time, and he just said, um, I just asked that the kids do this as well. How can I argue? I can't say my kids need to eat junk food just to make me happy. So I'm the food prep person. So here I go, making fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds for my husband and my two kids. Well, gosh, that stuff started looking pretty good, and I began to eat some. Um, over maybe just even a month, my husband became lean and strong looking. His complexion has improved. His bathroom habits improved. And he just became a better athlete. That, that really impressed me as someone coming from an overweight family that really always struggled with my weight. That was pretty appealing to me. Uh, so here I go. The funny thing to me is when I tell people that I come from an overweight family, they really don't believe me. But it's not just an overweight family. My family is loaded with cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Um, I also, in my early 20s, began to struggle with severe migraines. I'd actually have to go to the emergency room and get uh, two injections, and that would knock me out for three days. So as somebody that likes to move and live life to the fullest, that was really hard for me, just to randomly, no planning for it, randomly get a migraine and uh, knock three days out of my life. When I began to add uh, fresh fruits and vegetables into my diet and start taking up some of the junk, the migraines got less and less and less. The cool thing now is I no longer have to live life with migraines and wondering if I go on vacation or if I go um, to one of my kids' basketball games, am I going to get a migraine? Because that's one of the worst feelings you can live with is not knowing when or how this is going to hit. And I no longer have to deal with that. One of my favorite things about going to a whole food plant-based diet is um, just the feeling that even though my family is loaded with, with uh, cancer and high blood pressure and diabetes and etc., etc., I don't have to worry about that. Do I think this makes me bulletproof? No, not necessarily. But right now, I feel fabulous. And even if I don't live till 90 or 100, or maybe I might, uh, I can enjoy each day. And that's what this journey is about, is enjoying today, enjoying the, your friends, your family, feeling good every day. And there's no going back for me. One of my favorite, favorite things about this whole food plant-based diet is, is um, I no longer fight the chubbies. Woo! I, I come from an overweight family, as I said, and even at 50 years old and having five children, I've exercised more than probably the normal person who's exercised just because I love fitness. But the key to me really getting good shape and getting my shape back was not just the exercise, it was the food, and it was fresh fruits and vegetables. When I saw forks over an ice for the first time, I was really excited uh, we were eating a whole food plant-based diet, but we were still, I, or I was still cooking a meal in the evening. The day was fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. In the evening, I would cook a vegetarian meal. Um, we didn't use meat, but there was still oil involved, and I also used some uh, animal proteins. So forks over knives really helped me to see when I did cook 
that I could really clean it up and take it to the next level. So what if you have children and you raise them on a whole food plant-based diet or you transition them over? Will they stay? Well, I can only go through my experience and we have five. The oldest is 25 and the youngest is nine. They're still all whole food plant-based individuals. They enjoy their food. Um, we don't have a problem with it.